One night on Skid Row, many years ago, I asked a homeless person if he'd seen a guy pushing a violin and cello around in a shopping cart. I told him I'd hooked up with a non-profit that was trying to get my musician friend into an apartment. The man was skeptical. The ones pushing shopping carts aren't usually ready to move inside, he told me. That might have been a generalization, but in the case of my friend Nathaniel, he was right. Along with a distrust of strangers and an aversion to new surroundings, Nathaniel's reasoning was that the cart, which contained all his belongings, wouldn't be allowed in an apartment building. A psychiatrist explained to me that a cart and its carefully stored belongings can represent order, balance and control, none of which would be easily surrendered. This experience comes to mind when I hear the two candidates for mayor of Los Angeles, Rick Caruso, and Karen Bass, make promises that are almost certainly beyond reach. Caruso says he'll house 30, oh, 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 people in 300 days, the base number is 17, oh, 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 in 365 days. For perspective, an ambitious, all-hands-on-deck plan to house 15, oh, 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 people at the height of the pandemic fell well short of its goal. Interestingly, I keep seeing my name in a Caruso ad saying that I called the base plan underwhelming. That was 10 months ago, before Caruso entered the race. At the time, candidates were big on promises and short on details and innovation, and I wrote, don't overpromise, don't underdeliver. Just a few days from election day, that plea applies far more to Caruso than to base. In my conversations with social workers and homeless people, there's keen awareness of the obstacles to any rapid housing plan, people won't surrender their pets, they refuse to be split off from friends or loved ones, they don't want to have to give up certain possessions, they're in the clutches. And there's a lack of faith in big political promises. We hear you, but our eyes are wide open, said Quincy Arnaz Brown who runs a safe haven ministry under a tent on Skid Row and is known as Pastor Blue. The community sure needs a hand, he said, and wants to believe the candidates. And yet, let us not love in words and in tone, but in deeds and in truth, said Pastor Blue. So you can talk that talk, but we've heard it before. After a long stint of homelessness, Pastor Blue moved into the cargo container village near Chinatown in August, 